Okay, everybody. So yesterday was a very interesting day for the false prophets. So realize for those of you that have been following me, you'll realize that I've been doing lessons and teachings on the waters and waves and also fire and how it all relates together, how what fire can do the water to water. So let's see if the false prophets follow me closely. And this is all their videos from yesterday. They had a very busy day. And see, you'll realize now that they follow me closely and they all jump on the, the let's steal the true prophet's prophecy. Let's run with it because we know he's going somewhere. So as long as we jump on whatever he's discussing, we, we, gonna, we can say that we had a part in it when something happens. So listen to what they all did yesterday. And the prophets and his thought the very word. But my mercy has rained out like, like fire and like water. Burning up the chaff. And raining upon the seas. Say the Lord of hosts. Like the fire and the water, they're all doing it now. Timothy Dixon jumped on everything that I've been doing in the recent weeks. See that now. That was his video yesterday. Let's see what else he said. This was in the same video. I've kindled a fire against you. Remember, he's claiming he's the witness. And everything that I've shown and been talking about, that I've set my mouth against them, the false prophets, and how they have come under fire, now that I've set my mouth against them, he's doing the same thing I've been doing. He's running with it. The false prophets are running with it. Same video from yesterday. Let's see what he says. The flood of waters in the hearts. Realize the all these ones we're talking about actual tsunamis. And only now that I revealed and started teaching what the waters actually mean, now they're running with it. They were talking about literal waters when I revealed that the waters were the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues and began doing lessons on it as it relates, how it relates to the waters and uh, the living waters of Jesus Christ and the flood waters. Let's see some more. See what else he did. Same video from yesterday. And as the waves... Everything that I've been teaching, the waves and the waters, they're running with it. Now, that was Timothy yesterday. Well, I'll be. Look at there. Kent Christmas is on it, too. Glory waves. And look. The fires and the glory waves and the waters. They're all doing it. See how closely they all follow me. That's Kent Christmas yesterday. Look at there. Robin Bullock's jumped on it too. He's got three waves. I'll be. How about that? They all jump on and steal prophecy from a true prophet. <laughs> and their followers are so blind they can't see it. I'll have them come out and attack me. Oh, where's your prophecy? What are you talking about? They're the true prophets. Let's see, that's Robin. Let's see who else is doing it. Yesterday. What I did, I saved the nation Israel when the waters were divided. And so it is my plan and it is in process that even though it may look divided and it may look dark and the fires rage and the heat, things are heating up, there is a plan in place to not only drown the enemy like it was with the army of Egypt, and their chariots and their <laughs> Oh God, people. 
if you don't see it now, you never will. The fire and the waters, they're all, every single one of them, have literally plagiarized and ran with the same narrative that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. They're just now jumping on it. They all get together and have a meeting. This is what we're going to discuss tomorrow on Sunday. We're going to talk about the fire and the waters and the waves because the true prophet is. And when something happens, we'll at least be able to make a claim of some sort. That See, we had talked about the waves and the fire and the waters. Hallelujah, Timothy would, would cry out. Hallelujah. Understand whatever they prophesy, it will not come to pass when they're doing this because what Jeremiah 23 verse 30 clearly states, God is against the prophets that steal prophecy from another. And this is why their prophecies don't come to pass because they steal and spin my prophecy. They run with it because they have no prophecy of their own people. See, they all run, follow me closely, and run with what I begin to teach on because they know it's going somewhere. And then when something happens, they can say, Hey, look, you know, we were talking about that, but God just didn't allow us to elaborate. He didn't want us to tell you exactly what was going to happen. But we did talk about the fires and the waters and the waves, so we knew something. Pay attention, people. Your false prophets, and realize what Jeremiah 23, verse 30 states, God is against the prophets that steal prophecy from another. Be sure to stay in the word, people. Pay attention. Don't follow these false prophets, because if you do, I can assure you, you will share their same fate, and it's not going to be good. God bless.